And there they are on the blocks. D final women's 400 free. And swimming in lane number one is Dorothy Halmy of the Woodland Swim Team. Four, Azra Abdick, NASA Wildcat Aquatics. Three, Ella Tierney, NASA Wildcat Aquatics. Four, Madison Two, Waukesha Express. Five, Carrie Giovanello, Long Island Aquatic Club. Six, Sarah Giamber, Marlins of Raleigh. Seven, Monica Guyot, St. Charles Swim Team. And lane eight, Sinead Eckstein, Nation's Capital. As we prepare to get to the 100 meter mark, leader is lane number eight, Sinead Eckstein, Shannon Exting still leading, 136-80. She's got a body length lead here. We had Robin Dreyer from Nation's Capital winning the E final. We'll see if her teammate, Sinead Exting, could do the same. Again, she's leading 210-01. Sinead's not really getting challenged right now, but we do have 150 meters left. It's lane number six, Sarah Giamber, who's trying to break away. We get it ready for 300 meters. Sinead Eckstein is getting cheered on by her nation's capital coaches and teammates right there with her on the edge of the pool. And that's helping her out. She's having a great swim, 317-08. At 300, pulling away for second, that's Sarah Giamber. We got three ladies here in one, two, and three that are doing very well, holding on for a battle for third. Sinead Eckstein taking a big breath to check the field. Now she flips with 50 meters remaining. She's got a 1.8 second lead over Sarah Giamber. And Giamber's getting a push now. Lanes one, two, and lanes one and two. Going to be Sarah Eckstein getting the win, 424-27, with a great final 50 at 31-34 for Dorothy Halmy to get second, 424-48. And it was Azra Abdick from Wildcat, 425-20 to get third. That was a great D final, and these ladies swam well despite that delay.
what we like to see.